the only way to protect Scotland's membership of the European Union was to vote no to independence. And here we are, ripped out of the EU against colleagues, our will. Colleagues, First Minister, sorry, colleagues, can we please have a bit of, a bit of quiet so that we can hear the First Minister? Well, see, there's, there's a key point here, presenting officer, because independence is about aspiration, it's about empowerment, it's about taking our destiny into our own hands so that we can build a better future. And I think it's because they fear the power of that positive argument that Tories, Labour, Liberal Democrats want to deny Scotland the choice. And of course, what is, what is the alternative right now? To be governed... First Minister, First Minister, the First Minister is responding to the question. No one else in the Chamber is responding to the question at this moment, and I'm sure we'd all like to hear the answer. Thank you. Any political party in this chamber that was confident in their arguments around independence would not be desperate to deny the people of Scotland the right to make that choice. And the alternative to independence is to continue to be governed uh, by parties at Westminster that we don't vote for. And right now, that is by a disreputable, discredited government and a Prime Minister, frankly, with no integrity, no shame and no moral compass. A Prime Minister that even Douglas Ross doesn't think is fit for office. Scotland can do better than that, and with independence, we will do better than that. Marjorie Fraser.